Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Photo Justice Photo Moment, first live daily show on photography on YouTube. So today's today's little video is the follow up to the now I don't know three maybe four week old probably three week old video about the big microphone test, the big test where I was shooting it last year. It took forever to edit. I mean, last year makes it sound like it was a really long time ago, but I think we shot it in December. I'm um, checking out the different microphones uh, that were recommended by BNH and. Before I do the reveal, it's this one here. I, I'm sure most of you figured this out by now, but um, I do want to talk about the test itself a little bit because I saw lots of comments coming through, uh, mostly very good supportive comments, which is awesome. You know, there's always the person who says, you know nothing about microphones. You were testing cardioid versus pattern versus like you, you're an idiot and you shouldn't. And then people telling me I should not have tested in my studio because that was an unrealistic testing environment. I'm thinking, really? I shoot in there every day. What do you mean it's unrealistic? So. You know, people are always going to have their opinions and criticisms. But just to point out, I don't, I'm sure I mentioned this at some point, but I don't think I included it in the actual video, why I chose those microphones. And I think that's an important uh, part of the test because this is very, very real world in how I made those decisions. Um, I did not do a ton of research on the web, figuring out which were the best recommended ones and pull those together, although that would have been a very valid way to do it. But let's be honest, most people don't have that kind of time. Most people are going to ask their reseller for a recommendation, and that's what I did. So good morning, all kinds of live streaming coming through. Good morning, Christian. Good morning, Gary. Good morning, Skinny from France. Love it. Um, Ahmed is coming in from Northern Cyprus. I got a buddy in Cyprus. You guys probably know each other. Um, it's like this big. Anyway, you just got Olympus EM10 2, big time cannon shooter. Um, excellent. Well, maybe one day you'll switch over to Olympus too, which would be awesome. But welcome to Mirrorless Olympus camera. That's a fantastic camera. Greetings from the Cornwall. And uh, what are my views on the EM Mark II for pro work? Well, all mirrorless cameras are are totally suitable for pro work, some better than others. But um, I don't I don't know that camera personally. I don't. We're not friends. Uh, we don't have a relationship. But as far as I know, I hear really, really good things about that camera. So uh, it's not about the camera. It's about the photographer, right? You can do pro work with this baby if you know what you're doing. OK, so the te the microphones that I used is um, the microphones that I tested were because I asked BNH for a recommendation. So I had I had I already own still own a Rode video mic pro, which was kind of the de facto standard on camera mic. Um, everybody's been using it for years. It's a really good microphone. And I wanted to try and get something a little bit smaller, um, not so much lighter weight, but just a little, maybe a little smaller and possibly even better. And let's see what's out there. And uh, really for no other reason than I was going to be kind of a vloggy style carrying this thing around a lot. I just wanted something a little bit better. And the, honestly, this is not that much smaller than the original Video Mic Pro is. Um, but neither here nor there. So I shot an email over to BH and I said, hey guys, this is what I've got. This is what I want to do. What do you recommend? And they recommended two mics. They re recommended the um, the Senol, which if you saw the test, you know, did not do well at all. And they recommended the Rode Video Mic Pro Stereo, which was a larger, big, bulbous thing. I thought, OK, um, well, I'll check those out. And then I poked around a little bit more and I saw the uh, venerable Casey Neistat was using the Shure VP, I think it's 38's the model number. We got all the model numbers down below. Um, was testing, was using that one quite a bit. And I thought, okay, well, if he's using it all the time, his stuff sounds good. You know, I should check that one out too. So I got all three of those to compare. And then I, for the basis of comparison, I also wanted to put up the original Rode Video Mic Pro. That was important to have that on there, which meant four mics, but I only had three cameras. So I had to do two testing banks. And since I now had two extra slots, I added in that Rode Video Micro, that little tiny one, because it was super cheap, super small. And I have already owned it. And I figured, hey, why not? Let's just throw that in the test and the camera without a mic, right? Just the native in um, built in microphone on the camera, because that's how so many people shoot. And obviously that is not a professional uh, result. That is not what you should be doing if you're doing professional work by the slightest. But I thought it would be very interesting for people to hear the difference, to hear, wow, that's how much of a difference it makes. And of course, I had some commenter tell me I was an idiot for testing that mic, uh, the in camera microphone, like, you know, whatever. Uh, okay, so the end result, I think most people will agree. And looking at the comments, it seems that people were very much in agreement and um, and pretty evenly divided whether they thought the Sure or the Rode Video Mic Pro Stereo. God, seriously, Rode, you got to work on your names. Uh, was better. Some found faults in one and 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 superior qualities in the other, and vice versa. It was a very even split. And I agree, both mics sound fantastic. They're both very good mics to use. So I ended up choosing 
the Sure. That's what's on here under this dead cat. And the dead cat is on here. Um, I didn't make that up. That really is what they're called. The dead cat is on here because of uh, for wind protection. And I've discovered that, you know what? Having it on here basically all the time, it just makes sense because you never know when the wind's going to blow. You can't control that. It doesn't add that much size. It certainly doesn't add any weight. This thing weighs nothing. Look, it practically floats. And um, it also adds just, I don't know, a little bit of protection. I just, I, I think it's a good idea to have it on there all the time. So I leave it on there all the time. But there you go. The Sure, the Sure VP83 lens hopper. I'm digging it. One of the really nice things on here, the switches are not easy to bump. Um, although it's kind of funny. If you look at one of Casey's old videos, he had accidentally bumped it um, and into a plus 20, which I had it in there on purpose just now. Uh, had it bl bumped it up to plus 20, overdrove all of his audio for the day. And it, he did a video about dropping super glue on here so he couldn't move the button. I wouldn't do that because you might actually need the plus 20 every once in a while. But there you go. And it has a nice solid light that tells you that it's on, unlike the Senol mic, which doesn't have a light to tell you that it's on or that the batteries are dying. Just unbelievable. Unbelievable. So this is the mic that I chose. So why this one over the stereo? Uh, size was a big part of it. That stereo one, it's, it's set up high. It's, I don't have them anymore. I had to ship it back. But it's set up high. It's a big bulbous thing. It wasn't as low profile as this. And had the audio quality been massively better on that one, I might have gone with it. But st I don't didn't really care about stereo sound for the kind of stuff that I'm going to do run and gun with this. Um, this is lower profile. And remember, I'm I don't have it on here now. I've shown off the, we'll put a link to it here, the video where uh, I show off the little clip, the, the spider light holster. I think that's right, spider holster, spider light. Yeah, that's it, spider light holster. Goes on here, it clips onto my belt, and it hangs down, and it's a really nice, low profile. This mic doesn't get in the way. It's just a really clean setup, and I like it a lot. So I am really pleased with this mic. Uh, the battery has been insane. I put this is still the same battery that's in there from the tests, and I shot all through Mexico. I shot uh, all the GH5 test footage with it. I mean, I've been using this quite a bit, and that battery's still going strong, so can't argue with that. Um, but yeah, overall, that's the one that I chose, and the other one's still a very, very good choice. I just I chose this one because I liked the shape, the profile of it. It fit better for what I was doing with it. So there you go. There's the result. That's the one that I kept. Uh, let's see here. Lots of comments coming through. Let's do a quick scroll back through here. Hey, from the Netherlands. Excellent. In the Netherlands, the studio seems to be a real world location for recording to me. Yep. See, there you go. I mean, granted, if you're in a, a, a recording studio, you're likely more likely to be using a boom mic, which is what I've got up here, than you would be using an on-camera mic. Legit. But an indoor, large, spacious environment with a little bit of ambient noise from fans and road noise and that kind of thing happening. Yeah, fully legit. Why not? So anyway, that's why I tested that. Um, Sully saying, can't wait for the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. See, there's always a new mic coming out. You know, you can't possibly keep up with all this stuff. Um, hi from Nottinghamshire, England. Excellent NQ Media. Hello from hello back to Nottinghamshire. Um, Ahmed says, what's your friend's name in Northern Cyprus? The photo community here isn't that big. Um, maybe I know him. Uh, Graham Cooper, he's a he's a Scotsman, and I just did a horrible accent, so don't anybody kill me for that. He watches the show, so Graham, if you're watching, buddy, um, you got a friend there, Ahmed Khan um, Tunkaya. I hope I said that. I'm sorry if I butchered that. Uh, photographer at large, has any news on pricing and availability of the Rode Video Mic Pro? I have no idea. Uh, sorry. Um, interesting that I chose the Sure over the Road. So why do you say interesting, Sully? Just and I, obviously I've just explained why I did. Um, but I'd be I'd love to hear your your thoughts on that. And I'm sure that you commented on the other video as well. But feel free to uh, feel free to chime in on that. And Mike's asking about the battery life, which I think I just talked about. It's been it's been great. Um, you don't see on any of the mics. You don't see a battery status is in three quarters full, half full, anything like that. It just starts, it changes color or blinks at you when the battery's getting low. And even then, I think you got quite a while to go before your battery is totally kaput. But uh, yeah, I've been using it for quite a while. And you, when I'm shooting with it, incidentally, I don't turn the mic on and off. If I'm going out for the day, I turn the mic on and I just leave it on all day. Because the last thing I want to do is forget to turn it on, go to shoot something and then realize, <laughs> oops, that'd be bad. So I just leave the mic on. The battery's so good that, um, you know, why not? And it takes, what is it, a single AAA or double A? Uh, double A. And it's got one of my rechargeables in there too. And it's and the rechargeables don't usually last as long as your standard you know, off-the-shelf batteries. Um, but yeah, it's been great. So so there you go. Super duper. Okay. Um, I guess that's that. That's really it. That's, I just wanted to tell you what, what I picked. Uh, I showed up on my Instagram feed this morning. Somebody asked what microphone I was using, which one I had picked. So I figured, you know, it was time to, to come out about that and definitely get the, the dead cat thing. It really does make a big difference. Uh, and it looks cool in the snow, all covered in snow, as you saw from the picture. <laughs> anyway, all right, so that's that. Hey, um, Monday, I don't know if I'm going to 
pull this off in time, but Monday, I talked about uh, yesterday or maybe the day before that I did a shoot, one light shoot, just a client simple portrait, but it just came out really, really nice. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do kind of a live shoot with that, get somebody to stand in there, take a picture, and then bring it into Lightroom and process it. So we're gonna do a whole kind of round robin um, process from shooting to processing and show what that that looked like. Just because it's it's a simple setup, but I just, I, mm, it came out so nice. I was really pleased with it. So I figured, why not? We'll do that again. I just gotta get somebody to stand in there. And I, I was gonna have Ryan do it, but I realized that I kind of need him to operate the camera. So, so there we go. Um, that's about it. Joining from Germany while traveling 150 miles per hour. Hopefully you're on a train and not on the Autobahn while texting, my friend uh, Mephisto. That would be a oh, train, of course. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent for clarifying that. All right, you guys. Uh, hey, I'm out of here. It's Friday. Have yourselves a fantastic weekend. The last uh, GH5 sample video, the one on uh, uh, focus, not focus tracker, what's it called? Focus. Um, focus poles, focus, whatever. The focus one where it focuses from A to B. I'm totally forgetting what it's called. Um, is live. It went live. It went live. Um, half an hour ago or 45 minutes ago. Minutes. Oh, it's going live in 15 minutes. Ryan's correcting me. I scheduled it for 10. Sorry. That's right. I scheduled it to go live right after this. So it will be live in 15 minutes. Uh, check that one out. I It's only a few samples and there's a really short video, but I love that feature. It is so cool to be able to just go from A to B to C through, uh, through the camera control. It's, it's really cool. Check it out. Check it out. Check out that video. Okay, guys, I'm out. Take care of yourselves. Have yourselves a fantastic weekend. I will see you on Monday. Bye-bye.